off you. Okay, um, we're just coming out here to talk a little bit about slow boat control. And the first thing that I've noticed with a lot of people on start lines when they're new is they like to back the heads a lot, heave too. So if you just look at that boy in front of me in a second and the reference, use it as a reference. So when Dim backs the jib right now, back the jib, Dim, first thing you'll notice is my nose bears away. My boat turns more side onto the breeze and you'll notice that I'm now slipping sideways away from that boy. And I'm slipping away from that boy quite quickly. So if you're trying to do a start and you've got a jib that's backwards, you're not going to be able to hold your position quite well. I'm now a boat length and a half from that buoy and I'm just getting further and further away. I'll swing around now, I'll come back in and I'll show you how it should be done. And this is the bits you need to get used to. So I'm just going to use that same buoy and you'll notice that this time I won't go as far away from it very quickly. I'm just going to set up a little bit above the boy so that I can just talk to the camera for a second. So I'm going to tack, I'm going to tell my crew to let the jib in the off position. The first thing, not quite that much dim, so probably a clue First thing you're going to notice is dim's going to move to leeward a bit and I'm going to come really forwards in the boat. What we're trying to do is we're trying to sink the bow down into the water, we're trying to give the hull as much grip as we can get. Um, you'll notice that Jib. The jib itself in the front is just flapping, but the clue board is being controlled. I'm still slipping forwards a bit here, but you notice that my rate of sideways slip is greatly reduced. Like you can see, I'm just holding in relation to that boy a lot slower this time, which gives me more of an opportunity to go there. Now, when you're going slow, the rudder does very little. So if you want to steer, if you want to round up, it's got to happen with the mainsail. You notice I pull on the mainsail here, my boat rounds up. If I want to bear away, I'll tell my crew to back the jib. So if she backs the jib, you'll notice my rudder hasn't moved, but the boat's bearing away. If I say off again, it's going to pause my boat. So there's three words we're going to need to learn. Just dip. The three words we're going to have is just on, off, and back, and that's how we're going to control the boat at the buoy. Can we just pause for a second, Adrian? So, an activity, you're dragging me, just off, you're pulling me. An activity you want to practice is just find a mooring boy or a boy on the course and just practice what I've just said. So try and draw a two meter circle around the boy so you want to come in. I'm just going to drop in here on. So I'm using the sails to bear away here and the rudder. And I'm going to say off now. So I'm going to approach the boy and what I want to do is give myself a two metre circle around the buoy. And I want to try and hold my boat in that two metre circle for as long as possible. So to do that is wait forward, it's bang off. It's the opposite of everything you want to do. Now what you can do is if you see yourself drifting is use the mainsail sail up a little bit. And this is a good one to practice for starts for later. When you get up level with the buoy, try and do a reverse. All I've done there is back the boom, and I'm using my rudder in reverse. Hold that boom hard, Dim. No, I've lost it because the jib's gone. I'll just do that again. Sorry, everybody. Dim's never done this with me. Just make sure that jib's off, all right? I'm going to shove a boat in reverse, and I'm just going to use it to reposition myself in relation to the buoy. No, jib. Jib off, jib off. You can see I'm coming across the breeze now in reverse until I get too square there again and that's when I'm going to lose it. So I'm just going to circle out, try again, it's just a matter of practice. Reverse, make sure that jib is off because if it starts pulling me forward I use the back to wipe my speed off. I use the boom for a second to wipe my speed off and then say off. So here we are, we're just going to try and hover here for as long as we can. Another thing you can do is if you feel like you're losing control, 
is you can just use a rudder. Don't know if Adrian can see the rudder there, but if I give it a couple of wiggles, you see my boat will do what I want. If I want to bear away, I can use my rudder that way. You can see my nose just shrinking down and still got no speed on. When I'm in the position I want to be in, I can back it up. I'll just go round up here for a second. At which point we stick her in reverse. See, Dim's still not used to this yet because she still has got the concept of the jib pulling me forwards. But that's all right. That's what learning's all about. Another good slow boat control activity. Staying in here. Here we are at the boy again. Letting the boat naturally go backwards here for a second. The jib is pulling me, Dim. The jib is pulling me. Just going to drift backwards off the boy here for a second. Now, when I've drifted it a little bit back, all I'm going to do is do attack. Jib on now. Straight into attack. Jib off out of the pack. I'm still going to try and hold this position right next to the buoy for as long as I can. Still in slow boat control. When I think I can, I'm just going to put a little bit of speed on with just the mainsail. Jib backwards for a second. And off. Off. So you can see I'm just trying to hold myself as close to that buoy as I can. I'm going to try and let the boat drift backwards here as well. Keep it off, keep it off and over the boat Okay, I'm just going to pop in another one. So the whole time I'm just trying to stay as close to the boy as I can with no speed and still do manoeuvres.